In 2006, Rockstar Games released Bully, a game that glorifies violence, profanity, and heinous behavior, right? Hey, shut your filthy mouth, Jack Thompson! Sorry to be that guy, but I have to ask. Please click thumbs up on this video to pay your respects for this canceled game, but also because I spent a lot of time making it. The earliest mention of Bully 2, however, dates back to November 2006, when financial analyst Michael Pachter predicted that Bully would not be popular enough to warrant a sequel. However, his predictions didn't hold true, and a year later in 2007, he redacted his statement, apologized to Rockstar, and called a sequel a possibility. The first verified existence of Bully 2 wouldn't come for almost three years to the date of Michael Pactor's prediction, when Sean Lee, in an exclusive interview with the Gaming Liberty, was asked, So far, you've worked on two games, The Getaway and Bully. Would you be open to composing for other games in the future? To which Sean responded with, Yes, it looks like I'll be doing the soundtrack for Bully 2 in the not-so-distant future. Now, like Bully 2, this interview was never released, aside from that small excerpt. Literally the next day, though, The Escapist reached out to Sean Lee via email, and he confirmed again that Rockstar recently mentioned Bully 2 to me, but other than that, I know nothing. But if we fast forward six years to 2015, Vitus on the Bully Board forum reached out to Sean Lee via Facebook and asked, But you tell me, what is this? Linking the aforementioned 2009 article quoting Sean to which Sean responded saying, Dude, that was a misquote. No Bully 2 that I know about. I wish. It's obvious why Sean would refer to those old articles as misquotes, and that's probably because of NDAs. From the sounds of it, he probably never signed one for Bully 2, which is why he spoke about it publicly. But after speaking about it, Take 2 Interactive most likely told him to keep quiet about the project. On November 18th, 2011, Dan Hauser, co-founder of Rockstar Games, briefly discussed Bully 2 in an interview about Max Payne 3, stating, So, we knew that we didn't want to start doing the Bully sequel instantly at the second with those guys. Even though it's a property that, like Max, we adore, and we might come back to in the future. So, we said, you can do Max, and then we'll see what we can do with Bully. Then a few days after GTA 5 released in 2013, Dan Hauser mentioned in an interview with Polygon that... I know I want to, and, well, hopefully, you never know. There's a lot of directions I could go with that one. It's funny. Dan was even asked about Jimmy Hopkins as the lead role in a Grand Theft Auto game, but Dan quickly called in an orbital cannon on that one, saying things like, I never saw him as being that level of a degenerate, and even comparing him to Nico Bellic in that aspect. So, aside from a PS4 release in 2016, the Bully series continued to remain stagnant until summer 2017, when a glimmer of hope surfaced in the form of concept art. I'm talking pages of concepts that, funnily enough, leaked in retaliation to Take-Two Interactive cracking down on the program OpenIV that allows you to dive deep into the files of Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption and even Max Payne. And probably my most favorite concept out of all of these is the war veteran Postman who has a prosthetic hook for an arm. <laughs> that is awesome. This dude is built like my homie Count Olaf, but the thing about these concepts is they couldn't be 100% verified at the time. That was until July 2019, when Reddit user Fika122 revealed in a conversation he had had with a former Rockstar employee, who the bully community refers to as Ben, to protect his identity. In short, the conversation detailed that Bully 2 would be set during Jimmy's summer vacation at his new stepdad's house, with the main setting being a summer camp and a nearby town to explore. You would now have step-siblings to deal with, and the game would also expand on freedom with a new climbing system, 
pranks, and other features like diving into a trash can to hide from someone chasing you or shimmying around a tree to hide from enemies. That would be hilarious to do. As the conversation grew deeper, however, Ben did reveal that he was laid off very unexpectedly and hadn't worked at Rockstar in over a decade. But what he did do was confirm that the concept art that leaked in 2017 was real by saying, Ha! I distinctly remember that mailman. The rest, I couldn't say for certain, but I think it's all legit. Another interesting thing that Ben noted is that he was attempting to use early rope physics from Red Dead Redemption to create a tripwire prank. This helps narrow down the time frame that these concept arts were created to around 2008 to 2009. But 2019 would prove to be a devastating year for fans of the Bully series, as it was revealed through two sources that the script and outline for Bully 2 was written in early 2008, further backing up the claims by Sean Lee and Ben. But development was halted to focus more on the efforts of Red Dead Redemption. But in 2010, after Red Dead Redemption released, development of Bully 2 resumed and was led by Rockstar New England for over 18 months. A second source also corroborated that a playable version of Bully 2 existed and was powered by the Rage game engine, the same used for Red Dead and Grand Theft Auto. But as time went on, the source stated Bully 2 never built momentum and fizzled out, which led to Rockstar focusing their endeavors on Max Payne 3, as Dan Hauser stated in 2011. So you might be wondering like me, how in the world would Bully 2 look on the Rage engine? Well, I actually found this 3D model of the Postman that a fan of Bully created, and based on the concept art, wow, this would definitely be a cool character to see in the game. Like I mentioned earlier, this is awesome, and I think the cartoony feel of Bully would still be captured perfectly on this game engine, and if Bully 2 never happens, it would be cool to see this character recycled in a future Rockstar title. So by this point, we have confirmation that over the years, Bully 2 existed, it was cancelled to then focus on Red Dead Redemption, but development was then resumed, but then again cancelled a year and a half later to focus on Max Payne 3. And up until last week, things had been relatively silent since fall 2019. That was until renowned leaker Tez2 revealed on the GTA forums that Bully 2 was canned in 2017 to increase focus on Grand Theft Auto 6. Another renowned former leaker, Yan2295, also backed up these claims on Reddit as well. So the fate of Bully 2 doesn't look too promising at this point, but who knows what the future holds. For now, Bully 2 will be resting in the graveyard alongside Agent and all of these other canceled Rockstar games. Thank <laughs> you.